Friday. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So a moment of reflection on the day now past. And we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The psalm that he set for this evening is Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord. And in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the times past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies. Destroy all the adversaries of my soul. 
for truly I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight is Mark 13, verses 35 to the end of the chapter. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or at dawn or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. What I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. So we come to the Nunc Dimittis. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Father God, as we come before you at the close of this day, we bring before you the things on our hearts and minds, the blessings the joys, the burdens and the challenges. We come before you with prayer and praise on our lips. For Father, having brought to you the things for which we are sorry, we lay them at your feet, assured of your forgiveness, of your great mercy and love. And as we lay those things, we give you praise for the blessings this day has been, for the blessings received and given. We come before you now, Lord, making our journey to our beds. We ask that you would be with us this night. That you would guard us as we sleep and you would keep us in the palm of your hand. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, though the wisdom of this world is folly, those, those who think they are clever are but foolish. Those who think they are wise are ignorant. Those who think they excel at brinkmanship 
who excel at dialogue, discussion and diplomacy. Father, all they have is worthless. All they have is corruptible and will fall to the ground. But Lord, we possess a wisdom that the world counts as folly. We live in a love in a world that sees only hate and greed and gain. Father God, we pray for the healing of our nations, that the United Kingdom would indeed be united. We pray for our dealings with the European Union, that there would be mutual, beneficial and wise negotiations. We pray for an America that is not a United States, but broken and in disrepair. We pray for a Nigeria that knows conflict from so many sides, for a Yemen that is troubled, for an Ethiopia that is broken and wrong, for a Kenya that is under threat from mosquito and more beside. Father, we pray for the healing of continent of Africa. We pray for healing in Europe, especially in those countries like France where division is obvious, where wickedness enacted against and enacted by France is found. For the disturbances for the lack of consistency between some of the nations and the neediness of others in Europe. We pray for healing and wholeness. We pray Lord for the situation in China and its conflicts with its own people its conflicts with Taiwan and Hong Kong, for its conflicts with India, for the conflicts between North and South Korea. Father, we pray this night that your hand would be on each and every continent of this world, that Australia would know your peace and protection that Latin America, with its poverty, with its needs, with its reliance and control from so many wrong factions, would be healed and restored. Father, we pray for the Middle East. Lebanon continues to rebuild after an awful explosion. As situations as such, that an Iranian physicist is killed by an artificial intelligence weapon fired from the air with Israel being the finger that is pointed at its place. Father, we pray for all that happens in that region. Bring your healing, bring your forgiveness, bring your reconciliation we pray and we lay before you the whole world this night and we pray for the church across the whole of this globe that it would speak peace that it would bring understanding that it would use the wisdom that is Christ dead crucified risen ascended our Messiah, to bring healing to the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we lift to you those on our hearts and minds, our families, 
and we lift you especially families which are broken and in disrepair we pray to you the families who are struggling because of job loss because of financial need because of brokenness through infidelity intolerance and more besides we pray for those who wait for medical treatment we lift to you graham and his needs we pray for cat a woman in her 90s recovering from covid We pray, Lord, for Maureen. We pray for Olive, for Diane Murray. Pray for those beset by cancers, for Kevin, for Lizzie, for Patsy, for Alan and Joan as she fights her own issues with mental health she cares for her man for Bob and Morag father we pray for Sheila for Terry for Barbara for Norman we pray for Karen for Marianne that they with their challenges would know your enabling and your energy your wholeness We pray for parents who are a long way off. As we pray for parents and for siblings. We pray for those that we love and see no longer. Those whose memory we hold dear. For we have commended them to your grace, love, care and mercy. we look to the day when the Christ returns and the dead will be raised and we shall be one and as they awoken from our sleep we go to our sleep as they awoken from the sleep of the dead we go from this to our sleep to wake refreshed we pray tomorrow for a new day for a new challenge for opportunity for blessings given and received and so we pray for ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, who stooped to raise fallen humanity through the childbearing of the blessed Mary, grant that we, who have seen your glory revealed in our human nature and your love made perfect in our weakness, may daily be renewed in your image and conformed to the pattern of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And using the words given to us by our Saviour, Jesus the Christ, we say together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. 
for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. So may the peace and presence of God be with us all this night as we go to our beds. May we sleep well, wake refreshed, and tomorrow have a day before us of blessing and opportunity of challenge that we might make the presence of Christ in us known to all we meet. Guys, sleep well, be blessed. Stay safe, and if we can do anything to help, you know where we are. May the Lord be with you this night, and those you love. Good night, guys. Bless you.